Yeah, speechless. I literally, everything that we worked hard for and made sure that we put 100% effort into kind of paid dividends yesterday and um, sitting with a, a gold medal uh, in my pocket and I just can't believe it. Yeah, it, as I say, like, it was, it's, uh, I, uh, you know, suffered quite a dark period in my life in late teens. Um, and as I say, everything kind of disappeared out of my life. I couldn't start anything and the one kind of little shining light left was judo i never thought i'd be you know doing what i'm doing now i just kind of went with it because it was my hobby and i loved doing it and it was the thing that kind of let, let me escape from where i was and then to kind of sit here talking to you now being to two paralympics and being a paralympic champion is quite surreal <laughs> and it, yeah it's quite weird to say that to you um and i'm just hugely grateful to everyone who supported me who kind of helped me to get to where i am today yeah you know he was he was a he was a great man and I, he was my club coach for many years and um he he was very proud of what what i achieved already um and i'm gutted he didn't get to see this but i knew he was with me in spirit um and also i wanted to do it for my teammates uh, the people who um supported me um over the last few years my coaching john's uh, British judo, um, they've believed in me and supported me and to kind of do that for all them lot as well and my family, my fiance, my friends, it's, it's, I just couldn't believe it. Like, I'm so grateful for their support and I think that was also driving factors into where I, to where I got to. Yeah. yeah. I also want to say like Dan Powell and Jack Hodgson put some great performances in well. Like they put some solid performances in and, you know, we could be sat here now talking with four Paralympic medals. You know, they are fantastic athletes as well. Um, Elliot Stewart had a great day. He, he's a fantastic athlete. He's, he's a phenomenal judo player, very talented. And, you know, to share the mat with him and Dan and Jack is a huge honour. Um, and, and this team is a really close-knit team. Um, I know it's an individual sport, but it's also we have to help each other to get to where we are. And... You know, they're all amazing people. They have some amazing stories. Um, and yeah, Elliot Stewart, it was so nice because it was his first time. So his first time in the village experiencing stuff. And it was really nice to see kind of his face and his expressions when I got close to him. And it was just, yeah, it was lovely. The best one was went into the food hall together and he just saw his face kind of explode going, where is everything? I was like, let's go and find out. So it was really nice to kind of have that experience as well. I think... Um, you know, I, I, you know, I'm not, I'm not a very confident person. Um, I, I, what I was really happy about this, I kind of controlled my nerves a lot better, and I felt more confident in my judo and what I was able to do. Um, and I think I'm going to work on that more. Um, and I said in other interviews, like, you know, I'm really happy I'm a Paralympic champion, but there's, you know, the work's still not done yet. Like, I want to be, I've got a new goal now. I want to be double Paralympic champion. Um, so yeah, you know, a new goal there now for me to kind of go and achieve and um, hopefully I can do it.